and welcome back again to another episode of Dragon Age 2. Yes, we are here in the gallows and we are waiting the attack of the Templars uh, because, you know, I refuse to follow Meredith and now she will attack us. And, yeah, like I suspected, uh, I guess there's going to be bloodshed either way. And I basically just could pick the side on, on which to experience that bloodshed. <laughs> and yeah, I guess I, I will have to kill Templars now. I mean, I'm not I'm not really happy about that either, because... Uh, sure, it, it's a bit too easy to say they're just following orders. I'm sure that some of them absolutely agree with this. And, you know, those that don't... I mean, at some point... I've just been following orders stops being an excuse, you know. <laughs> uh, or to to quote the great Captain Picard. Uh, I don't know the quote at verbatim, but he basically said something like uh, saying I've just been following orders has been used to justify too many tragedies in our history. And I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. And, and that's why Captain Picard is my childhood hero. Well, among other things. And yes, I call him Picard and not Picard, like in in the English version, because that's just a violation of the French language, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, I understand it's a bit different for Templars as well, you know, with the whole Lurium situation. I, I suppose you can get it outside of the Order, uh, just like, like Samson does. But I guess it's very costly and probably illegal. <laughs> so yeah, I guess it would be kind of like sustaining a very expensive drug habit. But anyway, um, doesn't matter why they're going to attack us, anyone who will come through those doors? Those doors? I'm not sure what the what's the exit here, or the entrance. Anyone who will come through those doors will have to be killed, I'm afraid. And I have already spoken to all my companions and I think I just have to speak to Orsino now and then we can actually start this. So let's go. Are you prepared, champion? I believe the battle is almost upon us. <laughs> is there truly no hope? You don't believe there's a chance of winning this fight? With you on our side? <laughs> Perhaps. But even if we win, what then? More Templars would come, with even larger armies. <laughs> we are apostates now. Our only hope lies in the circles elsewhere in Thedas. They could rise up with us against this injustice. I assure you, however, we will find sympathy nowhere else. I actually find this kind of interesting, because everybody is always talking about how powerful and dangerous mages are. But apparently, when it comes to open conflict with the Templars, they are, like, hopelessly outgunned. At least that's the impression that Orsino gives me. So that's that's kind of interesting. But yeah, I'm ready. Let the games begin. Very well. You will need to give orders to your companions, and I will do the same for my people. Right. Um, I have to pick a team, and yes, my my party has uh, become a little bit smaller. And this is no longer there and yeah Sebastian is gone as well <laughs> um, right yes I will pick Bethany she can be my mage and I think I want Varric and Isabella I think it's the same team I had before I would love to bring Aveline as well but I can only bring f three people and yeah, I, I take I take Isabella because she's my romance and because Varric because he's awesome and because Bethany because she's my sister and because I want at least one mage. And she's a good all-rounder. She has some healing and a very good uh, offensive capabilities. So um, I think this is a good good team for the final fight. So, okay, here goes nothing. Let's go. I want to help as well, even if I'm not fighting at your side. Merle, attack from a distance. Stay out of the fight as much as you can. I will. Aveline, charge in whenever you see an opening. Very well. Fenris, I want you to stay close. Hmm. Help out when you can. As you wish. So, this is it. Some of you are worried. 
Maybe I am too. But I'm not staying long enough to find out. What I know is that I don't like being cornered. <laughs> and I can fight harder scared than they can angry. We're getting out. And I'm buying when we do. Yes, Champion, I will. It is beginning. All right. Break it down. Here they come. Stop them. <sighs> so pointless. Everything is so pointless. Alright, here we go. Um, okay, so apparently this is the entrance. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have a Templar Lieutenant here. So I think I'm going to start with him. Um, let me see. Okay. Oh, ah, I see. My companions actually fight with me even though they're not in my party. That, that is nice. That is very nice. All right. Um, let me let me quickly use uh, Bethany. Put some fire in here, and I will continue with the temple lieutenant. Um, all right, that's not looking too bad. I think we can probably do with the glyph as well. Let's do that. And I will cleanse you before you... Oh, and that was a bit too early. Well, thank you, Bethany, for that prison. <laughs> oh, no, oh, there's even more already. Um, alright. Let's see. Okay, so we managed to deal with this group of Templars. But now the next wave is already upon us. Um, Bethany, can you heal me, please? Thank you. Oh, a Templar hunter. Those are bad news. Also, why are my friends going away? That is <laughs> a bit strange. <laughs> they just... They, nah! How can ca take care of this? She doesn't need us anymore. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate your vote of confidence, but... Look at it all. Why don't they just drown us as infants? <laughs> Why wait? Why give us the illusion of hope? I refuse to keep running. I won't wait for her to kill me. <laughs> yeah, calm down. We're, we're doing fine. I don't know. I saw a lot of dead mages lying around there. <laughs> so maybe we're not doing fine. But still, calm down. This is not helping, First Enchanter. I am tired of helping as well. Quentin's research was too evil, too dangerous, so I put it aside. Oh. <laughs> but I see now there is no other way. So it was him. I knew it. I knew it. Meredith expects <sighs> blood magic, then I will give it to her. Make well. her help us all. I am sure this is going to make everything all right. <sighs> What are you doing? What on earth? Um, well, charming. <laughs> uh, Osino. So, did she just did he just use the corpses of the dead mages? Um, I guess this is... Yeah, I mean, it, it makes sense because Quentin was also using corpses to build something new. So I guess this is somehow related. But yeah, I, I had the suspicion that Orsino was the one who had been helping Quentin. So that is that is uh, interesting, interesting to know. Anyway, let's go. And yeah, we have some Templars over here as well. I think I think Bethany can 
take care of them and I will focus on Athena. Who isn't really doing that much. <laughs> if we kill them, we get that stuff. Ah, Isabella, don't forget the stuff for a moment. I don't think I want anything of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Um Oh it's dead already. Oh now we have a smaller Osino. Apparently that's that's like the remains of it falling apart. Oh wonderful. Um yeah, corpses. Uh let me see. Maybe you can give us a cone of cold here? Uh, why can't I? Okay. Let's do it like that. And I will focus on... You know, what's left of Orsino. Uh, where did he go? Oh, this is a corpse. Where is the rest of Orsino? <laughs> um... Hmm. I don't know. I lost him. In that case, I guess we will just... Continue with the corpses. All right. Uh, if anyone sees or see no, uh, shout, shout at me, please. All right. Um. No, I don't. I don't see him anywhere. That is. That is weird. Okay. Maybe. Maybe it's dead. Probably not. That would be too much to hope for. Okay. There it is. Or oh, he. Or oh, whatever. Oh, oh, what's what's going on now? Something is going on. Someone oh, more corpses, more corpses. And an arcane horror. <laughs> well, <laughs> welcome to the fight. Can I paralyze you? Um, let me go and <laughs> cleanse you. Well, it actually helped to, to paralyze him. So let's uh, get rid of the arcane horror first. Um, yeah, I'm almost, I'm almost done with him. There we go. Uh, okay, who is left? Mm, that's Meryl. <laughs> All right, I think, I think we did it. No, no, there's Osino. Osino is back. All right. <laughs> And of course, uh, he summons more corpses. Uh, hang on, Bethany, you can start with these guys over here. And has he summoned anything else? Just corpses? No, I don't know. Revenant. Ah, there's another arcane horror. I knew it. I knew it. So, hang on a second. Where? Why? Ugh. Okay, there you are. Okay. Let me deal with you. So... Um, well, you're almost dead already, so... I guess I won't need a crushing prison or similar. And now for the corpses. And another corpse. And there's one over there. Alright, so... I'll see you now. Okay, <laughs> he's he's back in action. Uh, oh, it's it's a corpse. So um, what do we got now? Corpses, corpses, just corpses apparently. All right, um. Fair enough. Let's let's kill them. Oh, Bethany. Uh, be careful over here. I think you can take some lurium and also a potion. There we go. And sure, why not dispense some stamina draughts as well? And there we go. Um, corpse? That's also a corpse, right? Yes, it's also a corpse. 
All right, Ossie, now where are you? And he's back. It's not much longer anymore. All right, okay, what's what's going on now? And now that thing comes back to life. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> okay, let's kill this again. Um, give me a cone of code, please. Didn't really work on it, I believe. Um, all right, maybe let's not attack it from the front. Um, stop, stop doing that blood magic thing. I will, I will cleanse you if you do that. I will cleanse you. Okay, but apparently now we just have to wear his, I don't know, primal form down <laughs> again. <laughs> Come on, let's let's kill it and hopefully that's the last thing he can do. Okay, almost done here. And there we go. <laughs> it's funny that they always do the final stabbing with a tiny, tiny dagger instead of a sword. <laughs> She's pissed. Poor man. Why would he do such a thing? Yeah. We best get moving. We're not in the clear yet. All right. So apparently this is finally over. And yeah, Osino, that's what you get for helping Quentin and just being stupid, I guess. Anyway, let's see. Oh, well, he ha does have some nice stuff, Isabella. Maybe, maybe something for you even. <laughs> you wanted, you wanted his stuff. Health, mana. Yeah, I don't know. I like you with a lot of attack, but. It's probably not a bad, bad ring. And I found a nice staff as well. Um, 2.5% chance to infect with walking bomb. Huh. Also, when did I get this? I don't know, Bethany. Would you would you like to have this instead of what you currently have? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think you can just 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 keep this. Uh, right. This place is so dismal. Yeah, it really looks like a prison, doesn't it? Uh. It is unfortunate this place is necessary. I cannot imagine what it must be like to lose your family. <laughs> Anything I could say would be insufficient. I'm sorry. What brought this on now? Um, but yeah, I think... Can I actually... Yes, I can open that thing over here now. Superior gauntlets. Nah. Okay, anyway, let's maybe quick save. And where do I have to go now? Apparently this is the exit. Um, can loot some dead Templars. And yeah, now we're going into the Templar Hall, apparently. Uh, well, this place looks interesting as well. I'm pretty sure that same setting was used for the Fade. That's interesting. Anyway, apparently we have some shades to kill, so let's let's go ahead. I mean, it, I'm not quite sure why there would be shades in the Templar Hall, but um, I I stopped questioning uh, that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'll deal with this. Um, yeah, let's continue with this one. And there's someone. Oh, there's also a rage demon. Um, Bethany, I think you can help me with a rage demon over here. And there's yet another one. All right, let's 
kill this one. And now we can deal with him. But I have no more fire left. Maybe we can just paralyze him. Um, there we go. Oh, that that is that is cheating! You're cheating! I paralyzed you and you just disappeared again. <laughs> okay, he's back now. <laughs> you cheating bastard! And and you 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 doubled, multiplied. That that is strange. Okay, um, take some take some lurium, and uh, <laughs> I will try to kill. Well, this one is imprisoned, so let me continue with this one first. There we go. Um, Varric, do you need assistance? Oh, you're fine. Okay, let's <laughs> let's loot. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this has been the fate when we came here to rescue Fainreal. You know, Fainreal, one of the one quests that actually ended sort of well because we managed to help him with his nightmares. <laughs> what in the world, Sender? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, this, this is kind of like Origins all over again. He he also showed up at the final stage of, of the game in a room filled with dead darkspawn. <laughs> okay, apparently um, I can I can buy stuff. Well, you can have my junk, and you can have. I guess you can also have most of the equipment that I'm not. Yeah, I have no use for bows anymore. Um. Yeah, I think I can just sell all of that. Not that I really need the money, but you know, <laughs> may as well. Take all of this. Um, sure, I'm going to keep that stuff. I will just buy all of your other stuff. I should have enough potions, but since I don't need the money, I may as well use it for this. Oh yeah, I still have Sandal's special rune, which increases knockback. Um, you have an enchantment apparatus, right? And I can actually access my storage. I don't know if I want to do any enchanting. Let's see. Um, oh, this is what Fenris has. Well, I'm not sure if he actually needs it because he's not in my active party, but... I mean, he is fighting, sort of, with me. At least he was in, in the first scene of this episode. Um... Yeah, let's let's just give him. I mean, it, it certainly won't hurt. I'm not sure if it actually does anything if he's not in my active party. Yeah, Sandal, what what are you doing here? Enchantment. Yeah, um, you you've done well. Um, and greet Bowden from me. <laughs> anyway, let's let's save this again and continue. Also, there's a uh, thunderstorm coming um, outside. I hope um, this isn't going to cause any problems. Lots of thunderstorms in here uh, at the moment. Um, yeah, I remember this place. There, some of these places had very devious traps. Oh, and well, now we have a bunch of tempers here. Okay, let's start with the lieutenant as always. Um, okay, most of them are dead already. Uh, yeah, let's continue with this guy. And he is dead. So now we can kill the rest of them. Uh, are there any Templar Hunters? I'm always worried about Templar Hunters. But I don't see any at the moment. Also, did that Templar just step in a trap? I think he's just pinned down by Varric or something like that. I don't think enemies actually step into traps. Uh, they're, they're too clever for that. <laughs> Unlike myself. Alright. Um, oh, here's more. Oh, there's a hunter. I see, I see a Templar hunter somewhere in this mess. 
Okay, that's that's him. Let's try to silence him. Uh, Bethany, careful. Uh, take some lurium and then maybe give me a cone of cold. Uh, yeah, he disappeared. Um, in that case, let's kill this guy first. Oh, Varric, careful, careful, careful. <laughs> Not so fast, Varric. All right. Wow, I actually leveled up. I didn't. I didn't think I would see another level up. Um. All right. I think I want to go and check out that other room that we just saw, and. After that, maybe end the episode. Um, I'm not sure how how long this fight through the Templar Hall is actually going to take. Yeah, I I remember this. I remember this from from the fate. Uh, this is not good at all. Especially because my companions are on the other side. But I think Varric can open the door. Yes, he can. So let me get out of here. <laughs> okay, Bethany, you can give us a cone of cold. There we go. And now let's try to r kill the rage demon before anything else happens. Um, Isabella, be careful. Can can we somehow disarm this mess? Um. Yeah, I know, I need to level up, but I don't want to do that right now. Uh, is there no disarming switch for this? Alright, this is... This is unfortunate. This is very unfortunate. So just everybody come over here, please. Yeah, it's not helpful if you jump back, because you actually need to go through here, Isabella. And same for you. Alright. Isabella! You think you'll make it? <laughs> uh, this is hilarious. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Let's put them on hold and I will try to bring Isabella home. Because <laughs> she locked herself in this room. Well, you can... While you're here, you can loot that corpse. And now I'm going to... Um, safely move her out of here. Stop, stop doing it, Isabella. Stop doing that. Just stop it. Why? Why are you doing this? Ugh. This is so pointless. <laughs> All right, done. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> okay, let's let's level up my companions. Um. Hmm. I'll take more constitution and willpower. And sure, let's uh, upgrade the silence. You can have more constitution, maybe have more willpower as well. Hmm. Edge of the abyss. Elemental weapons, barrier. Sure, take a barrier. Uh, I'll just give you more dexterity and constitution. And another upgrade. And you can have strength, dexterity and constitution as well. And another upgrade. Alright. Um, yeah, I think... Maybe we can look what's in here. Oh. Um. Yeah, but I think... Let's close this again. <laughs> I think I'm going to end the episode here. Because, like I said, there's a thunderstorm outside. So I would rather uh, turn off my computer. And yeah, in the next episode... We will fight our way through the Templar Hall. And I don't know. I guess we're trying to find Meredith. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. And see you again in the next episode. Thank <laughs> you.